<laughs> well, I came back from Singapore uh, years ago, and my uncle picked me up at the airport in a brand new, just delivered Mark 10. And I sat in it, and I looked at all that walnut and all that leather. I thought, one day I'm going to have a Jaguar. And uh, I think I'm on my 12th. I fell in love with them, I suppose, when my uncle had a brand new one just after the war. Then I rode in a Mark V in about 1952, and then I followed while I was at school all the successes at the Mong. They're iconic. It's, it's, they've always been, you know, whatever, whatever William Lyons used to do, the Jaguars were always that bit different from your ordinary run-of-the-mill cars. It's, uh, it, it's just, I don't know, it's just something that you grow up with. <laughs> it's just great to come and see all the cars and all the faces that you see as you go round because um, I do go to the shows north and south of the country which is great and you're just seeing people all the time that you recognise and just have a nice chin wag, it's lovely. When you've had an E-Type there's nothing like it, it's just a unique car to drive, the comfort, the speed, just the power of it and the, the looks of it, it's just a fantastic car. 1953 I went over to Belgium with it got ram air to the carburetors, undersealed it, and uh, the tyres, we put up to 50 pound pressure, buffed the tread off, so we got low friction on the tyres, and uh, we took the record at up to 172.4 with the car with this. So that in it, it's got a lot of memories for me, this car, these 120 car, yeah. Okay, we came from, uh, from Castle Bromwich this morning in a cavalcade of 10 Jaguars with uh, 10 of our long-serving employees who had the opportunity to drive from Castle Bromwich into Coventry this morning. Fantastic, yeah, it was, uh, it was a thrill. Uh, and being in the, uh, the cavalcade of vehicles coming along the road, all, all Jaguars, it was just fantastic, real experience. I'm really looking forward to the trip down to, to the Cotswolds and then on to Mayfair tonight. And then, of course, we've got Goodwood tomorrow, so we've got the run down to Goodwood. Uh, hopefully to watch some fantastic racing.